Mr. Beast has done one dollar versus ten million dollar job. Don't really understand what that means, but we're here to find out. Here we go. I mean, I've seen all the pictures on Instagram, so I kind of know what the jobs they do are. I just, I just can't understand it. Work this ten million dollar job as a professional athlete, and I'm gonna show you the difference between this and getting paid two hundred thousand dollars to be an astronaut. This is insane. Getting paid one hundred no way does he actually go on a real dinosaur boat. Oh my god! And so many does other he actually jobs. go on a spaceship? Starting with the lowest paying job I could find, a rocket that can make as little as one dollar a year. I really want to do this. I really want to. I want to. I want to go gold panning. I think it'd be really fun. That's weird. Um. I think it would be fun though. Is that weird? Is that weird? I'd love to do uh, like I'd love to do stuff like this. Just vlog it. Second channel. Cool. Done. We're gonna make millions. Statistically, not. Basically, gold panners put dirt in this mechanism, and with enough shaking and water, all of the gold. Shout out, laser beam. By the way, Lannan. Lannan just like. Lannan's just. He's just everywhere, but nowhere at the same time. He's just in so many videos. Still posts every now and then on his channel, but he just turns up. He's just there. And it's always in, like, Mr. Beast in America. He's in Australia. He's in our videos. He's everywhere. Bottle. But it's not very easy because after five hours of searching, I was definitely not rich. Oh, boys, I found gold. No. How much is that little nugget worth? That is two cents. Exactly my point. You okay, can do I don't want to do this. For a whole year and only make a dollar. But I don't luckily for this. us, we're going to be working Change jobs that pay over ten million dollars per year. But first, let's see what it's like to work a job that pays a hundred thousand dollars per don't year. Don't do it. Digging up dinosaur bones for a museum. Water it all. And yes, these are fake because they're all dead. So this is just one of our pits. Whoa. Are these actually dinosaur bones? They are. So I've been here 17 really? years. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in my career. This is your thigh bone right here, and it's over four feet tall. For comparison, here's that dinosaur next to... Wait. Are they not so... He's saying, right? Hang on. Hang on. He has been working on this for years. And then they've come in, they've gone, all right, we're just going to, you know, like, help you out for a little bit. Then, I don't know if anyone noticed this. You see this? This bone right here. So, obviously, I, I've seen videos of people, like, digging up bones and stuff. You're meant to, like, brush off, brush off all the stuff, right? And then you have to, like, carefully, whatever, do all this stuff. Watch here. Watch right here, okay? My bone right here. And it's over four feet... A whole chunk! A whole chunk just came off! That's not- I swear you're not meant to do that. Probably mud. Okay, but would he not have got rid of that? Tall. For comparison, here's that dinosaur next to six corals stacked on top of each other. Keep in mind I'm 6'5". These are mini jackhammers, essentially. How you doing it? See, look, you see how like- He has no idea. You see how little they get off at the right time. Now, this may come as a surprise, but we are god awful at this. Whoops. Be careful. It took us five hours to make any progress whatsoever. But even with us holding him back, with the help of the expert, we were getting somewhere. This is easily the largest bone that I've ever worked on in my career. And you let me and Carl touch that? Absolutely. What if we messed it up? Josh, how much does this weigh? Probably gonna be two, two fifty pounds. Yeah. Wow. This is one tenth the weight of Nolan's mom. Oh, oh. Wow. Now, Nolan's mom is getting it a lot. Not in that way. Don't. No. I've joined in, accidentally. What's two hundred and fifty pounds in uh, kilos? Look, you, look. I didn't mean to join in. All right. Eighty. Wait, a hundred. Wait, what? 120? Damn! Because this bone is so ancient, we have to cover it in a cast before we pick it up. Or else it could literally break in half. Let's hope it doesn't fall apart when we lift it. One, two, three. Oh, yes. Hi, way, baby! Good job. This is the first time any humans have ever carried this bone. Just a YouTuber carrying a dinosaur bone. That is cool, right though, isn't it? One, two, 113, okay. Watch your hand up. And that believe is it or cool, not, though. this dinosaur bone did find its way into a museum. But because museums are boring, let's head over to the $200,000 job. Whoa, 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 whoa. Museums aren't 
always boring. They can they can be. Yeah. No, they they are kind of. Most of them are. First mission: learn to drive wow. the lunar rover. This is what will one day be on the moon. Yeah, this is how we're gonna get around the surface of the moon. Why are they letting me drive this? <laughs> Open the door. Because you have money. How do I work this thing? Push forward on the stick. Right now? Yeah, go forward. Push whoa, forward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, don't kill us. I'm scared. You good? Oh, this is amazing. Go ahead and twist. To the right? To the right or left, I don't care. Oh my god, there are cars. Is this street legal? Uh, street illegal around here. Oh, this is that amazing. Doesn't... Oh, Why are we whoa. driving sideways? I haven't figured out how to straight it yet. And even though I'm driving like I'm actually drunk, I still managed to get us to NASA's lunar training yard where the real test is gonna be. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh, this is getting bumpy. You're gonna let me drive it down this hill? Is there seat belts in this thing? There's a seat belt we don't use right there. Then. Yeah. <laughs> They've got seat belts they don't use. That's that's helpful. Oh, oh, that's God. way too steep. Oh, no way. Are we really going down? Can I get that seat belt now? Oh, my God. Wait, we're going down the hillside. Why are they going sideways? Lift your hand so they can see I'm driving. I, he's actually left. I'll up. get up and let Nick. No, 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 sit there. No. Oh, Go my God. Sure. Hold me, Carl. Hold me. Landon, I'm just going to say it. You wouldn't survive on the moon. Uh, I reckon I could do it. Next in training, NASA showed me around there. How are you, like, is this, this is not something you can just get, right? You can't just do this. Yeah, is this, is this like a money can buy experience or is this, he's got it because he's Mr. Beast. But is it, is it money can buy or is it like it's Mr. Beast? Money and fame buy. Fair, fair. They're an enormous space facility. This Holy is cool. crap. This is the second largest pool on Earth. Which I'll be honest, it just felt like they were flexing on me. Where's Especially the Especially when they showed me the space suit. As far as anybody's concerned, once you try on a space suit, you're an astronaut. But of course, there was what? a catch. When you go on a spacewalk, you have to wear a diaper. You're in the suit for 12 hours. Wow. Gross. Yeah, like an actual real adult diaper. Okay. So be careful. This yeah. is a space artifact. It's flown on the space shuttle several times. So real astronauts have worn this. Yes. Keep in mind that astronaut peed in this. Have you peed in this suit? I not in this suit. No. Okay. Gross. When's the next mission? What are you doing? Uh, it doesn't uh, your... I, like. It doesn't look real. It looks like um. It looks just like a an expensive Halloween outfit. You know what I mean? No. I can make time. Okay, okay. And the final step of my training was the craziest thing I've ever done. They were gonna let me touch the moon. Now, now, being back into it because it weighs 9,000 pounds. This weighs 9,000 pounds? Oh, this is this is the largest collection of moon rocks on display anywhere in the world. I can't believe it. Wow, I, I want to do this. It's a YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is just I want to touch the moon. the moon. What are the odds you let me touch the Genesis rock? Zero. <laughs> Yesterday, we dug up a dinosaur fossil. So I'm an expert in this kind of stuff. Can I touch it? No. I tried. This material here is actually wow. lunar soil. <laughs> what, bro? You're actually touching the moon right now. Oh, that's wild. So that tube has dirt from the moon and has not been opened since it came back. And since wow. you haven't checked in theory, there could be an alien. Yes. Well, it would be the first from the moon. Wait. From the moon. <laughs> you guys are and after we found out aliens were totally real, we headed to the stratosphere for our next job, where Carl and Nolan are... I feel like that... But I wanted more, I think, from that one. I think the dinosaur one was cool. The gold panning is gold panning. There's not much they could have done there. But like that one, they could have got, there could have been more to show there. Or they could have done more, I don't know. Are gonna fly a plane. I've never flown a plane before. We have no idea what we're doing. I know NASA can't just let them do everything. Training. I'm not joking. For the boys to somehow fly a real plane. Didn't you guys plane. do astronaut training? We did. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. We did like the the training, where, the G-Force training. And then, well, me and Harry did that, where you spin around a lot. And then, that's about it, to be fair. And then we just did the zero G. And all they have to do is land one time in this flight simulator. All right, here we have our throttle. Pulling it back makes it go slower, just like that. Oh, oh my God. And after Nolan crashed. Ah! Oh God. And crashed. Oh God. And <laughs> crashed. You crashed the plane? He eventually did land successfully, which for whatever reason gave him the keys to fly this real plane. Okay, yeah, this I'm does not out. seem hey, safe. If you can't do this, Nolan, please, for love of God, let them know now. Oh, oh my god. Okay, there is a pilot oh next to him, though. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. You ready to go? As ready as I'll ever be. Oh Approaching 60. Kind of wobbly, but. Uh... That's it, to be fair. Bro, normal people don't get to do that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, I made it sound as if we did everything. 
Oh, I made it sound like, oh, yeah, we did everything, you know. We we did this. Oh, actually, that was it. I love how Jimmy wouldn't get in this one. This is kind of terrifying. Go minute, I mean, there is a pilot. Oh my God. That's the one thing. It's always a challenge for people. All right, I'm descending. My mental health is descending also. This is the part I crashed in every time in the simulator. Oh, God. Ah! We're going to land right there on top of that runway. Oh, my oh God. My we God. This is close, right? Keep it, oh. keep it pointed right down the middle. Oh, my God. Easy. Keep your hands on. Bro! Bro got a smooth landing! Oh my god! He said I couldn't do it, but we're still here. You didn't kill me. I was genuinely surprised that the job that pays one million That's sick. That's actually very sick. See like that! That's like next level. Would you fly a plane if you had the chance? I, if I know that if I know that there's a like there's a pilot next to me, yeah. I think I would after the training. I wouldn't just get in a plane now and go, oh, do you want to try and land it? No, I would do that where you, you go in the simulator. I have a pilot next to me. If I'm doing something wrong on the landing, he'll go, no, 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 that's not it. We'll fly up and then go around again. I think I would. And yeah, to be fair, yeah, when you, get, when you go uh, like driving lessons, you get straight in a car. But again, firstly, when you have a driver, when you have a driving instructor, a lot of their cars have pedals on the left side as well that they can use. Secondly, they don't take you on like a motorway. I have pi my pilot's license. It's not that hard. Fair. Million dollars a year. Million dollars. But only if you I think I, the highest think? paid hand. Uh, that, that wasn't. I think I could be a. I think I got nice hands. I could be like a nice. I think I could be a good hand model. You need to shave off all your hair. What any of you like your? I don't have that much. It like I have a tiny bit here. I don't have like knuckle hair. You got lengthy hands. That's good. You could be a ham. Very long, very bony hands. Brilliant. Thanks. And models in the world. She makes five times the average salary Mad. of a doctor by letting people take photos of her hands. And her resume is stacked. She's hand modeled for almost any brand you've ever heard. Like Carol her hands Holderman are even insured for one million dollars per hand. I can't wait to see this in action. So to start us off, she examined our hands. I didn't know that today. Oh, I want to get my hands. I want to get security. my hands. Okay, so immediately examined. I can see the nails need work. Of course. Agreed. These hands suck. Okay. What? What's a good nail? What's a good nail look like? I think my nails are a little bit... They're, they're pretty good nails, you know. Like, they are well kept. Good length. Not too long, but not, like, eaten. This is actually decent. Symmetrical. I don't have any of the, like... I don't have any... I don't know what it's called, but, you know, when you have, like... Yeah. They are nice, bro. They're nice. I think I got good hands. How much hair is here compared to Carl? Yeah, no, no, no. The skin texture might be better here with these two. Can you change me? I don't know if I can work miracles, but uh, <laughs> I haven't seen your hands yet, Jimmy. Your hands like glow. That's crazy. Why are your hands so glossy? <laughs> I don't know. Are my finger structures good? Uh, yeah. No, they're very good, actually. But again, we've got cuticle issues, skin issues here, but that can all be fixed. Our hands clearly needed work, so we had to prepare them to shoot. Oh! It's pretty easy for me and Carl. I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've had one. It was in, um, what video? So I met the first cheap, the expensive holiday or whatever it was. I had a manicure. I hated it. It's horrible. Not so much. Oh god, bro, you can make a rug out of all that hair. <laughs> hated this hair's it. been with me my whole life. But you gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna make a million dollars. And now that my hands are no longer disgusting, we're gonna model for an actual magazine. Jeez. These photos are literally gonna be shown well, the best thing ever. No. all across America to promote these watches. That's petrifying. Yeah, no, no pressure. Okay. I mean, the watch looks good. <laughs> I honestly thought this was going to be easy, but we were actually horrible at this. It looks like the watch is on a snake. <laughs> Bro, this is so hard. That's the only thing, right? 
I think I have nice hands, but my wrists are so thin that like anything like a watch would look bad. Like I, I think if I do it like this, yeah, my, my wrist is too thin. I couldn't do like a watch. I think I could do like a, I could model like a ring. Dang it. Oh, what? Unreal. The product looks better because her hand doesn't shake as much. Yeah, it does look a lot nicer, doesn't it? <laughs> that is actually nuts. Your fingers are skinny though, but it doesn't, so it doesn't look bad. No, I, I, do, I do know what you mean, but she's more relaxed. Yeah, but even like, you know what it is? It's the three fingers being like perfectly like, you see how you can see all of them like that. It's the finger positioning, yeah. It's because the three fingers are like that rather than like, why is your thumb like that? Oh, because well, my thumb goes like that. I got a bendy back thumb. But being a hand model isn't all about wearing nice watches. Sometimes you have to model weird things. Why are you squirming? Because I see a man holding a snake off camera. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, Carl, breathe. Put your other hand out here and kind of support his head. Yeah, of course I'll support <laughs> One final thing I need to throw in the mix is Immortals of Avium, the sponsor of this video. Just right. That right there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> right. Who's modeling the watch, a snake, and this game. Yo, look at that. That looks crazy. Immortals of Avium is a first person magic shooter where you play as a battle mage named Jack trying to save the world, Carl. Can he save me? <laughs> this time I need you to model the Xbox version of the game with the scorpion. No way. Oh. Uh, you want to grab He does his sponsor so well. Is yeah, this he does. Safe for the animal? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Get it, get it. Go, go. Talk, talk, okay. and go. Uh, and talk about the game. Right. You can sling 25 different types of magic spells and unlock 80 different talents to customize your character to suit your playstyle. Carl, you think Immortals of Avium are going to love that photo? Immortals of Avium, I hope you love this. Just hold the scary animals, and then we get to join the NFL for our final job. The people who created Immortals this is of a good Avium sponsor. also help make the award winning campaigns of Halo, Call of Duty, and Dead Space. We love those campaigns. Oh, it's moving. And the coolest thing uh, is, they put me in the game as a boss. And if you kill me in the game, you get more gold well, than any him. other boss the game gives you. Oh. Nah, it's, I got you. I got you. Just don't look. <laughs> Immortals of Avia. Uh, uh, a free trial on Xbox as well as PS5. And there's a free demo available on Steam. I feel it under me. It's under my hand. We were doing such a bad job that we had the hand model step in to ensure the sponsor would approve of the photos. Click the link in the description if you want to play Immortals of Avium right now. I'm retiring as a hand model. And even though our photos weren't great, we still got them on billboards all across the country. And now it's finally time. That just, yeah. And I, I used to think, you know, until that, I used to think a hand model would just, you know, just hold something like, you know, a nice, although you need to like, your hand has to be in the right position. Like if I do this, look at all that fucking shit. Look at that. But if you hold a drink at the right angle, you don't get any of it. It's really, I don't know. I do get it, but not a million dollars worth. For the job that this pays next one is nuts, I can imagine. Dollars per year. That's right. If you had to do one job for the same amount of money, which are you choosing? What, as in one of these jobs or just one job in general? Any job. Footballer. I'd, out of these, um, what was the four? I'd probably do, I mean, hand modeling, let's be honest. Hand modeling, because it'd be kind of like, yeah, cool. I'm about to literally join the NFL. This is literally my dream. And if you think this is all fake, this is so sick that he brought a real uh, like Lannan to become a literal well. player for the Buccaneers worth ten million dollars. It might say we're not going to pay it, but it at least says that dollar amount. No, no, focus on the dollar amount. And now it's official. Congratulations. Damn. So Jeez. for the next forty-eight hours, I'm officially a player. You are officially a player. I promise I won't let you down. I promise he will let you down. <laughs> By the end of my contract, That's I'm going to cool. be running out with the team on the field in front of sixty thousand fans. The first step is weight training. <laughs> I love how I've seen I've seen these lot play football, like real football, not American football. And it's just like the thought of them even running out is uh 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 uh. I mean I know it's very different playing hand egg to football, but nah. Too light. Let's go up. Let's go up. I don't actually think they're paying me the ten million. Struggle? Are you a winner or are you a falcon? Easy. Yeah. I've noticed. They yell at you a lot when you're an NFL player. Can you set it to whatever the strongest player on your team does? I'm gonna see if I can do one. You can do 12 of these? Holy crap. He's not a normal human. Uh, Damn. I hate to be hit by him. One more, four, yeah. four. Good four. Easy. Oh, God. God, Jimmy. Why is the NFL so hard? 
Jimmy's in good shape, you How know. How does this compare to their typical workouts? Pretty pathetic. Hopefully the lightheadedness goes away. It will. You get used to it. <laughs> okay. Up next was my first practice at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers training facility. He's been training for a lot, him and uh, like Eric. How's it going? How you doing, folks? Good. And my new teammates. Nice to meet you, man. My name is Shaq. My kids love you. I love your videos. Oh, really? okay. I was going to say, I feel like the ones who get Mr. Beast, like, know of him, think, like, this is pretty cool, you know? He's, like, they've been si he's been signed for 48 hours. This is cool. But the ones who don't know who he is are probably thinking like this guy, he's just paid. He's literally just paid to be a player. That's nuts. Candy bars, the Carl gummies. Up yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And my new teammates couldn't believe I actually signed with the team. So I showed them my contract to prove it. Is this is the same one you guys signed. I think you got more money than me though. <laughs> yeah. that, but, but if you yeah. read it says, unless it's canceled in 48 hours, we're still gonna cancel. Uh, yeah, yeah, look at uh, the five parentheses rest. for sure. Hey, you're official, welcome to the I know, thank you. Hey, my hey, new teammates over here. Mom. These guys make us look Gotta like be children. annoying considering how hard they worked. Well, that's what I mean, like, if they don't get it, then yeah. But at the same time, they've worked for this their whole life. He's literally just there for 48 hours. He's not being paid. They're so big. Look at the size comparison. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've never played football before. So they threw me on as kicker, which... Oh, yeah. oh I yeah, was terrible I was gonna say. Beast, we need you out. We gotta get ready for tomorrow. You're right, you're right, you're right. I'll keep it. And since I've never played quarterback before either, uh, I, I just threw one up as far as I could. Oh! Oh! Hey, it works! Touchdown! In case you didn't know, the team I just joined is the same team Tom Brady won the Super Bowl with. So I thought it'd be funny to surprise him. Oh, we got him, Tom! Oh, I almost got hit. TB, what's up, baby? What's up, TB? What's up, bro? Lannon's like a massive Ooh. fan, isn't he? I literally die of happiness if you say no, you, I do. You, you can't do this to me. You yeah, can't do this to me. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. After that, our practice. Right, that's so nice, man. That's so nice. Oh into shenanigans. I, ah, little man! Oh, oh, three! Too small! Yeah. You can go back to filming. Yeah, Alright guys, let's see y'all. Some people still had some questions about my two-day contract. So afterwards, the Bucks set up a press conference for me. We obviously have a big game. I'm expecting very serious questions only. Is this just a publicity stunt? Why are you really here? To make the best video possible? Yes, it's a publicity stunt. <laughs> I clearly am not an NFL player. Jimmy, how does it feel being on a new team? It feels great. To be honest, they've accepted me way more than I thought. How much playing time are you expecting? Uh, none. And after explaining over and over again that it's just a stunt, I went to go get measured. So these lot, they must just be actors, right? Four and a half. Carl, you're 6'5". Six I'm 6'5". Six yeah, 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 yeah. These measurements are key so that my gear and my uniform are all custom fitted. <laughs> this actually looks so good. There we go. And now that I'm suited up, it's time for the official game day. This I is still so don't know weird. why they're letting me do this, but hey, thanks, Bucks. Are you surprised they let me join the team? Yeah. That's my first football I've ever signed. Oh, Jimmy's about to come out any second now. They say it's you get so up weird. And play and play. Do me a favor and get up super high. It's his first game and probably his last. Definitely his last. How is this happening? And since this is the only NFL game I'll ever be a part of, the team actually let me lead them out the tunnel. Let's go, boys! This is so weird, man. Would I do this with Leeds? No. Because I don't think American fans are the same as English fans. And I think English fans, like Leeds fans, would just be like, why the hell are we letting this guy? Like, he thinks our team's a joke. I think I would be murdered by Leeds fans. He said probably won't get playing time. Imagine, right? That's the Bucks are. Huge shout out to the Buccaneers for making me an official NFL player. It's honestly a if good they thing were winning by like I don't know me, what points normally died. are, but if and they were winning easily, there until they actually bring him on for the last on two seconds. So in retaliation, I'm in a nuke their stadium. Right? They've mocked him, so he's murdered people. Yeah. People. Oh. Okay. Well, that was a very good video. That was It's nuts, the stuff he does. But it's mad how little, like, how little they show of each thing when that could be a whole video. He could just vlog that and it could be like a 25-minute video. It is nuts. Fair.